another preschool Bible lesson. I am just so happy that you came back to watch our next episode, Into the Life of Joseph. We have learned so much already. Joseph's life has kind of been a mess. He was sold into slavery by his 12 brothers. Then he was thrown into jail. And now in our story, the ruler of Egypt has made him a leader in his kingdom. Though Joseph went through a lot of really hard times, God always helped him. When Joseph asked God to tell him what Pharaoh's dream meant, this is what God said. God told Joseph that there would be seven years of abundance in Egypt, and then there would be seven years of famine. During the seven years of abundance, Egypt would have plenty of food to eat and water to drink and everything they could ever need. But after that, there would be seven years of famine that would follow. There will not be enough food, not enough water, and they will even be low on money. And Egypt would need to prepare to survive. This helped Pharaoh so much to be prepared for what God said was to come. He put Joseph in charge of making decisions that would help them best prepare for it. Sure enough, God was right. Egypt went through seven amazing years of abundance. They had everything they needed. But remember, after those seven years were over, the famine started, just like the dream. It happened in Egypt and all of the towns around them. This even included Joseph's hometown, where his 12 brothers still lived. Because Joseph prepared for this to happen, Egypt was stocked up on food to last them the next seven years. And they had enough food to help those in need around them. People from all over traveled to Egypt to buy food from Joseph. And it just so happened that one of those groups of people who came to see Joseph was his older brothers who sold him into slavery. Now, they were in need of Joseph's help and had no idea that he was alive and in Egypt. When they saw Joseph, they did not recognize him, but Joseph recognized them. Joseph didn't tell him who he was. He acted like he didn't even know them and even decided to scare them. He noticed that not all of the brothers were there when they came to buy food. The youngest sibling named Benjamin had stayed back in their hometown. Joseph told his brothers that every one of them needed to be there in Egypt in order to buy some food from him. And then he put them in jail for three days. Oh my goodness. On the third day, he let them out to go get the youngest brother, Benjamin, and return back to Egypt to buy some food. When the brothers got back from their hometown with their youngest sibling, Benjamin, Joseph decided to play just one more prank on them. What do you think Joseph has in store next? Is he ever going to tell his brothers who he really is? What is going to happen? Well, I cannot wait to tell you exactly how this story ends whenever we come back next week. Now, that's the end of our story today, but not the end of our video. Are you ready to learn today's memory verse? It comes from Hebrews 13 verse 6, and it sounds like this. The Lord is my helper. Who shall I fear? Now, we chose this memory verse because God has helped Joseph his entire life that Joseph didn't have anything to fear at all because God was with him. So now stand up. Let's say it together before we learn the moves. Hebrews 13, 6. The Lord is my helper. Who shall I fear? Okay, now I want you to do this. The Lord, and I want you to point up. The Lord is my helper. We're going to put our hands on our hips because we know that God is our helper and he comes alongside us. We can be confident in that. And then we're going to say, who shall I fear? Okay, ready? The Lord is my helper. 
Who shall I fear? Okay, let's put it all together to say one more time. Here we go. The Lord is my helper. Who shall I fear? Thank you so much for watching today's video of Joseph's life. Don't forget to come back next week to find out what Joseph has in store for his last prank on his brothers. It's going to be so good, you don't want to miss it. So have a great week, and I will see you next time.